guys and welcome back to real life with abby my name is abimbola thank you so much for stopping by so if this is your first time on my channel or you've been here before but have never subscribed please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button and then click on the bell to turn on your notification so you can be notified whenever i post new videos if you've already subscribed thank you so much for coming back it's really good to see you again i appreciate you guys i always appreciate you guys hippie and um Today I want to talk about the foolishness of uh, a lot of uh, Nigerian youths, as Buhari says. You know, some years back when Buhari said Nigerian youths are lazy and foolish, a lot of us, including myself, we were so much against it. We were saying Buhari is this, Buhari is that, he's a bad president. But guys, look at it. Aren't Nigerian youths actually lazy? Aren't Nigerian youths actually stupid? I mean, really foolish? How come Nigerian youths are so engaged in this uh, Big Brother Nigerian thing? Imagine, the internet is boozing about Big Brother. All our celebrities, who when there was uh, 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 this uh, South African uproar, they didn't come out. When we were all crying, where are our leaders? Where are our celebrities? Nobody spoke. They were all silent. All of them went into their hiding places. But guess what? Big Brother Nigeria has brought all of them out. AY, I will call names today. I am so disappointed in you. Because I thought you are one person, as a comedian, who has a very good platform who could always speak for the lives of Nigeria. Xenophobia is a very bad thing, like you all know. A lot of Nigerians lost their lives. A lot of Nigerians lost their income, their business, their livelihood. Fathers were lost, brothers were lost, uncles were lost, mothers were lost, children were lost, aunts were lost. Nobody's speaking about xenophobia. Everybody's quiet. Nobody's speaking about the people who came from South Africa back to Nigeria. Okay, there was a free transportation. A flight was provided. They have come back home. What are they doing with their lives today? Who cares to know what they're doing? Nobody. AY, are you not a human being? You just had your AY show. Why did you not feature the fact that there are a lot of returnees from South Africa because of the xenophobia? Now you're featuring comedy about Tasha and Messi Lamborghini. And people are laughing. <laughs> so, Nigeria has turned to a playground. Nigeria is a comedian place now. Where comedians are making it. Nigerian livelihood is no more important. Our country is a comedy ground. We laugh over things that are not supposed to be laughed over. We concern ourselves about things that we're not supposed to even be bothered about. Are you trying to tell me now, people, Nigerian youths, are you people trying to tell me now it is more interesting to vote for Big Brother? Tasha and Lamborghini Messi are more interesting for you guys to fight over? I saw on, uh, on the internet a group of jobless people, irritating group of bunch of idiots, fighting in front of a stadium in Lagos because of uh, Awola War's grandchild who is in Big Brother Nigeria and saying they are the first that put the banner up and the other one saying no, they are the first that put Tasha. It's a disgrace. Where are these people to fight for motherless babies? There are a lot of people in Nigeria who have no livelihood, who have no food to eat. There are a lot of single mothers suffering, trying to train up children. Nobody is supporting them. Nobody is giving money, contributing money for them to eat. They are contributing money for Tasha. That they've got it 400 and something thousand for Tasha, a prostitute, an arrogant girl who, who has no respect, who cannot even spell Potakos' first daughter. She says she claims to be a Potakos' first daughter. She cannot spell it, she cannot write it. A dropout from school, a 23 year old girl whose breast is so flabby and on her, on her tummy already at 23. When I was 23, I was thinking of what to become in life. I still had dreams and aspiration. I never thought about sex at 23. 
You can say whatever you want. I was a virgin at 23. Where is that Nigeria? Where is that Nigeria? What is happening to our country? What is happening to our culture? What is happening to our norms? What is happening to this religious belief that you all have? Because when it's religion, everything Nigerians say, ah, by the grace of God, ah, in Jesus' name, oh, everything you want to do, you pray before you do. Even having sex, you pray before you have sex in Nigeria with somebody's husband, with somebody's wife. I've seen several videos about this arrogant prostitute while she was talking about sex with married men, while she was talking about how it's important to have more than one boyfriend. And these are the people that... I, write, I wrote their names. A.Y., Mr. Jelov, Isoko Boy, Bob Risky, Bob Risky gave Tasha one, uh, one million uh, naira and people applauding for Bob Risky. Bob Risky, somebody without an identity, he's not a boy, he's not a girl, he's not a man, he's not a woman. Bob Risky is a name in Nigeria. In Nigeria, a religious place. In Nigeria, where people are always calling God, Bob Risky is representing us. It's a shame. I'm so ashamed to be called a Nigerian. Because we've lost it. Even in Europe here where we live. Homosexuals cannot come out so bold like that. And begin to say things like, I donate one million to this person. Where is your income, Bob Risky? Is it the bleaching cream? Or is he, is, he, is he sleeping with men? What is Bob Risky? A man, a woman, a thing, a he, a she? And you're all applauding him? Shameless people are coming out. There's a Jaruma. Who is that woman saying she will give uh, 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 Tasha 50 million? So this idiot woman has 50 million and there are a lot of people who are suffering. There are a lot of motherless babies on the street. There are a lot of single mothers with children to cater for and no income. Jaruma, where have you been if you have 50 million to give to an arrogant prostitute? A violent prostitute who boldly says on national TV that she is a prostitute and she's proud of herself for prostituting. Peter Square, I'm ashamed of you. Shame to you and shame to you and shame to you. It's a pity you have a wife and a family. It's a big shame, Peter, that you even come on, 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 on uh, internet, on Instagram, live. Tunde Ed not called you. I watched the video. And you were proudly saying you will promote Tasha, you will make Tasha a brand. You are sh shameless, Peter P. Square. Woo! Onto your name. You are a disgrace. You are a big disgrace. Because there are a lot of people on the streets in Nigeria who are hungry, who are needy. You have never come out to talk about them. You have never come out to help them. Peter P. Square. Boo on you and your brand. Shame on you and your, and your whole brand. That you come up proudly and say, I am supporting Tasha. I am going to support Tasha. Whatever it takes, I will give to Tasha. Who the? Jesus Christ, I'm so irritated. I don't even know what to say. Peter P. Square, go and hide your silly face. Because you are a disgrace to humanity. That a girl can come up proudly and be so shameless on, on national TV. A prostitute. I'm not saying prostitutes are not human beings. But a prostitute should have self-dignity, integrity. She should be ashamed of herself at 23, you're prostituting. And she's not just starting now. She has been into prostitution for a long time. And she's very proud of it. So prostitution now in Nigeria is glorified. AY, I'm ashamed of you. To think that you are a very prominent comedian. You have a very good platform to promote decency. Instead, you are promoting arrogance and violence and prostitution and you have a child. I will not go to your family because your wife has not done anything wrong. Your child has not done anything wrong. But I'm ashamed of you because you are a father who has a daughter who should inflict some manners into his child and you are promoting and supporting prostitution on internet. Internet never forgets Ewa. So soon somebody will remind you of what you're doing today. In case you think we'll forget, we will remind you AY. I wrote their names, Jaruma. Who the F are you, Jaruma? I want to know who this lady is. You said you are most hated, you are most disgusted, you are most irritating, people don't like you in Nigeria. Oh, you are in Dubai, you are making money and you're gonna give Tasha 50 million Naira. So Jaruma, if you had such money, 
how come you've never helped the motherless babies in Nigeria? How come you've never helped the single mothers in Nigeria? How come you've never donated to a lot of people who are on the street? Go to places in Nigeria, you see the living condition of humans. You will weep. You will weep.